In today's video, we're looking at five main reasons why you should use Python for sports science. Before we get to the video, if you enjoy the content that I create, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. The first reason why you should use Python for sports science is because of its versatility. Python can be used for data analysis and visualizations. It can also be used for web and mobile app development, as well as software development. Because Python is so versatile, it has the opportunity to increase the efficiency of an organization. You can use Python to create a mobile app that is geared towards gathering internal metrics based off of your athletes. That data can then be stored within Python. And then as a sports scientist, you can run your data analysis and your visualizations using Python again. Like R, Python offers a wide variety of packages that increase the functionality of base Python. Uh, packages such as NumPy and Pandas are popular Python packages. Um, NumPy allows users to use mathematical functions, while Pandas offers functions for time series data, as well as merging, joining, subsetting, or reshaping data. Uh, for data exploration and visualizations, you can use packages such as matplotlib or seaborn. The fourth reason why you should use Python is because like R, Python is free and open source. Python is constantly being worked on and improved, uh, and other great users are creating new packages that make your data analysis process using Python much more fluid. The last reason why you should use Python for sports science is because it's more sought after in sports science job descriptions. Because of its increased efficiency and versatility, it's likely that Python is the highest priority when compared to other coding languages such as R or even Excel. The main benefits of using Python include its versatility, the wide range of packages that are available, as well as the fact that it's free and open source. However, the syntax may be more complex than R or Excel for some users to learn, and you're probably gonna have to invest time and money to learn the syntax and earn certifications. In closing, learning a programming language, whether it's Python or R, is just another tool for practitioners to add to their toolbox, and it shouldn't replace their toolbox altogether.